All right, Pisces. This is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with Leo, Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces, the ones who are dealing with the Leo placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please protect me and guide me as I channel these messages for the collective. Please remove any of my energy from this reading. This is for the Pisces people. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter placements. <clears throat> Thank you and amen. All right, Pisces dealing with Leo. So if you have a Pisces sun dealing with the Leo moon, this reading may resonate with you. If you're Pisces Venus dealing with a Leo sun, this reading may resonate with you. Keep in mind the energy can always be vice versa. Flip flop, switch it according to your situation. Um, if you guys want a personal reading, information will be in the description box below. So we're gonna be pulling four cards from the Rebel deck. Messages please for Pisces dealing with the Leo. This could be a message to you, or this could be a message for the Leo. Take what fits, leave the rest. So let's see, four cards, please, from the Rebel deck. Single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading. Spirit, you already know how I roll. What messages do we have for Pisces dealing with Leo? You need some effing yoga in your life. Ancient is cool. Okay, so someone here may need to get some stretcher size. <laughs> you are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't F it up. All right, so Spirit is wanting you or Leo to know you are loved. You are here for a reason. Okay, don't mess that up. But whatever that means to you. Oh my gosh, and then you got the love card. Get some, give some. It will chill your eyes up. Okay, so some of you guys need to give some love. Give some love. All of these, oh my gosh, all four of these cards are pink. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just all BS. Forgive and let that ish go. Okay, so if you're holding on to any shame, regret, or if Leo is, they need to let it go. Find some forgiveness in your life. Do some yoga. Stretch it out. <laughs> get some get some loving. All right, you got all these pink cards. And, you know, that like never happens. So that's pretty cool. Someone may be wearing pink. Someone may like pink. Pink may be a good color to wear. We are going to be going into spring here soon. So... Maybe pink is uh, the theme because so we got all different colors in this deck and you guys pulled all pink ones. All right, so let's move on to the Hidden Truth Oracle. We're going to be getting four messages. What is the Hidden Truth between Pisces and Leo? The unsaid or untold messages. Hidden messages. All right, let's see what we got. Four cards, please, for Pisces done with a Leo. You speak to me through music, so I don't know if you hear a song that comes on the radio or you may be getting messages or downloads through music that comes on or that you, you know, that you hear in the car. Um, you may hear a song and it may remind you of one another. All right, and then we got, I want to tell you how I feel. So either you want to tell this Leo how you feel or this Leo wants to tell you how they feel. Okay, two more. I feel you leaving me behind. So many things remind me. So many things remind me of you. So that could be this music. Um, either you feel like this Leo's leaving you behind, or they feel like you're leaving them behind. Okay, let's get one more. And I hide behind material things. So someone here could be materialistic. Someone may care about their image or, you know, their appearance. Like someone that may dress nice, look nice, um, look like they have it all together, but really feel in a different way. Okay, hiding behind material things. So material things may make somebody feel confident as well. All right, so let's get four messages from the Andromeda guys. What messages do we have? Or Pisces dealing with a Leo. Can we start over? So maybe you want to start over with this Leo. This Leo may want to start over with you. Um, three more. 
there is so much I want to tell you. So someone here definitely um, has a lot to say. I don't know if they are saying it, but I want to tell you how I feel. Obviously they're not, because otherwise there wouldn't be so much to talk about, right? Um, you are the person of my dreams. So you may be feeling like this Leo is the person of your dreams. They may be feeling like you are the person of their dreams. They want to tell you so much, but they feel like you're leaving them behind. They want to speak up and tell you how they feel. Uh, someone here may also want to start over. Um, soulmate. So this could be a soulmate of yours. And I feel like I'm not good enough for you showing itself. I feel empty without you on the bottom of the deck. Yes, this is possibly a soulmate of yours. Okay, so let's jump into the tarot. If those message, messages resonate good, if they don't, doesn't mean that the rest of the tarot reading will not resonate with you. <clears throat> All right, so let's get, first card out is going to be for Pisces. Overall energy, the ones dealing with the Leo. Keep in mind that this energy can always be reversed. So flip it, switch it according to your situation, and don't get hung up on the gender. All right. So two more shuffles and then we'll get started. First card out is for Pisces, overall energy. Second card will be for Leo's overall energy. Single jumping cards only will be taken in this spread. Overall energy please for Pisces. We got the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless, events that require immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused in a passionate relationship. So the Knight of Wands is, you know, it's an action card. It's going after what it is that you're passion, passionate about. Moving very quickly. This could also, um, you know, be telling you to trust your instincts on a situation. Show me Leo's overall energy. Some of you guys could be moving very quickly, traveling. Uh, show me Leo's overall energy. <clears throat> the Hermit showing itself. Virgo energy. So someone may be isolated or staying to themselves, doing some self-reflecting, some introspection. I didn't like the way that flipped because I didn't... I didn't have a grip on my cards. All right, so Leo, we have release, scorpionic energy, endings that lead to new beginnings, the need to release situations and people that hold you back, and spiritual transformation. So this is kind of like the death card in traditional tarot. So this Leo may be going through some type of a significant change in their life, a spiritual transformation. They may be releasing people, situations that they feel like are holding them back. Okay, so show me how Pisces is feeling in their emotions. <clears throat> show me how Leo is feeling in their emotions. How is Leo feeling in their emotions? <clears throat> how is Leo feeling? Okay, Eight of Pentacles. So, all right, Pisces and your emotions, you got the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Or did you? No, you didn't. It was in the upright. My bad. Um, so, oh, that was, <laughs> that scared me. I was like, really? Anyways, King of Pentacles in, in the upright, not in the reverse. I flipped it in my hand. Okay. Compassionate, com accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security, and prosperity. The Midas touch. Everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent and spouse, and a good person to work for. So you guys may be very loyal very dedicated, maybe towards your business, your home, your stability, uh, your partnership, um, earthly things, things that um, are of substantial value to you. Um, this Leo and their emotions, uh, they got the eight of pentacles. So this person may be focused on working, um, learning some type of a new skill or learning all that you can about a subject or a career, going back to school, taking a seminar, Finding a mentor, attention to detail, and skilled work that you love. So both of you guys may be focused on your pentacles, earthly things at this time. Um, this Leo could also be um, releasing a work situation or... There could be a change to someone's work as well. As a release card could symbolize some type of change, transformation. 
Eight of Pentacles, you may be moving very quickly or going after what it is that you, you desire, things that you're passionate about, Pisces, and you may be doing so very quickly. Okay, moving with great, <laughs> with great speed. <laughs> Show me Pisces' next move. Show me Leo's next move. Show me Leo's next move, please. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sag, excuse me. Uh, Pisces, you may have these placements in your chart. Um, so, so far you got fire, earth, and water. Either way, your next move, the King of Cups, this is someone who, you know, you're, I feel like you're trying to trust your intuition at this time. You may have a lot of love for this person or uh, compassion. All right, you're someone who's trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, and seeing a counselor. So for some of you guys, you guys could be mentoring this person because the Eight of Pentacles and Leo's emotions, it could be finding a mentor, finding a mentor or learning something, you know, learning some type of a new skill or trade and the king of cups can also be like a counselor a therapist a mentor someone who um is very emotionally grounded has a lot of deep emotions but doesn't wear them on his sleeve is her whatever and with this king of pentacles you may be very grounded emotionally financially you could be a little bit restless maybe you needed some love and because <laughs> we have um you are loved and love. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. Okay, show me Leo's next move. That could be the Knight of Wands energy for you. Is your overall energy uh, too many? Show me Leo's next move, please. Thank you. The Chariot. So they could be traveling. Um, the Chariot, Cancerian energy, Scorpio energy. They may have that in their chart. Rewards that come from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower, and public recognition. Yeah, so I feel like this person is very determined to move forward. They may be traveling. They may travel for work or, uh, you know, the chariot can be a vehicle. Eight of pentacles can symbolize a work situation. This person is very determined to move something forward, maybe releasing situations and people that are holding them back. Um, and I feel like you're trying to use your intuition, be compassionate, show me Pisces intentions here. Ooh, two of cups, Pisces. Okay, falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. Forgiveness and the ending of challenges. Exchanging gifts and don't give up on the people that you love. All right, so there could be some type of forgiveness here. I don't know if you're in a relationship with this person um, or this is your intentions. Maybe you want to be in a partnership, a union between two people. If you're not in a relationship with this person, maybe you're in a relationship where that's what you're... you're uh, Wanting for your, that's what you're wanting for yourself. That's your intentions. Okay. Some of you guys may be moving as well. Um, or just forgiving people with this compassionate grounded energy here. Um, that would make sense. Show me Leo's intentions with Pisces. What is Leo's intentions when it comes to Pisces? The Ten of Wands, yikes. Okay, so whoever you're dealing with, Pisces, or whoever this Leo is, Ten of Wands, this person could be very stressed out, uh, working too hard or too many hours, the need for balance in life, let others help you, and health problems due to stress. So their intentions here, uh, maybe to try and drop, the, drop some burdens, okay? Maybe they're carrying a lot of weight, a lot of stress, a lot of burdens. Maybe they're working a lot or they just have a lot of 
priorities riding on them at this time. Maybe that's why they're trying to release certain situations, people, places, and things that, you know, could be causing them some type of stress here. They're very focused on and determined towards moving forward, working hard, learning some type of a new skill or trade, but they could be a little bit stressed out or feeling tired or burdened or overloaded or, um, yeah. Show me the outcome between these two. Show me the outcome here between these two. Single cards, please. Show me the outcome here between Pisces and Leo. So two of swords. Show me the outcome between Pisces and Leo. King of Wands. Two of Wands. Why well, you got three twos? So you guys may be seeing two, two, two. Um, nine of Swords. Someone may have an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Moon sign. An error in their moon. And Queen of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> so Two of Swords can talk about um, needing to make a choice. You guys hear the birds? I'm not going crazy. You hear it? Sounds like they're having a fight. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Sounds like crows. But they're like, wah, 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 wah. like it's like a fight. I don't know what they're arguing about, but okay. Uh, being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem and overanalyzing a situation. So somebody here may be like... Uh, you know, the two of swords can talk about like refusal to see the truth or having rose colored glasses on, not seeing a situation clearly, ignoring the truth of a situation or, or riding the fence, having a hard time making a choice or, de or a decision, um, feeling, you know, like you're at a crossroads with this two of wands here. There is a choice that may be being made. Um, This could be a difficult choice, but the next card is the King of Wands. So I do feel like someone will be taking action here. Um, motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking. Keeping your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision and don't be sensitive to criticism. So somebody here may be working on their confidence or someone may be trying to find the confidence to take action. I don't know if there was like and ignoring to a situation or refusing to see the truth of a situation or there will be um but the two of wands and the king of wands it's like there is going to be a choice that is being made here taking the next steps bold and ambitious choices partnering with others who share your dreams expanding your plans and continuing to move forward so i don't know if someone's you know deciding to partner up with people who are more in tune with where they're trying to go like whether that's you or this person i don't know to me, it looks like Leo is trying to release certain situations and people, places and things that could be holding them back. And they're very determined to, to move forward, work hard, be dedicated, stay focused. And their intentions is, I feel like the Ten of Wands is like feeling stressed out, burdened, overweight. So this person is definitely trying to like uh, lighten, lighten the load. Okay. Yeah, someone may have been ignoring the truth of a situation or hearing the outcome, someone may be, but I see that changing. Like I see somebody finding the confidence to take action and make a choice. And then the Nine of Swords, it's like there's some type of stress and anxiety, worry or fears here. Unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies, allowing, the, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless nights or refocus your thoughts. So someone here may be having some type of insomnia, having a hard time sleeping, having a hard time like focusing their thoughts. Um, it could be keeping them up. It could be stressing them out. It could be the stress up here by all these burdens or whatever. 
Um, and this, this could also be like about a commitment or about their own stability or yours. You have the King of Pentacles up here in your emotions and then the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe someone's worried about like stability or commitment or mm, loyalty or being financially secure and grounded. The Queen of Pentacles is generous, practical, gracious, materialistic, the ability to make anything more beautiful, the love of family and home, and be practical about how you proceed, the love of art and beauty and a sensible approach. So this is kind of an open-ended outcome, I feel like, so I'm going to clarify. All right, so I'm just going to do one clarifier. Okay, so Holy Spirit, why is the Two of Swords here? The Nine of Swords. So you got the Nine of Swords twice here in the outcome. There's definitely like a lot of like anxiety, worry, sleepless nights, someone like refusing to... This could be over a hard choice or a decision here to make. Like somebody's, somebody's struggling to make a choice. Why is the King of Wands here? Or they're stressed out about it. King of Wands, two, two of Wands in the reverse. Now you got the two of Wands here twice in the outcome. So where King of Wands, Aries, or Leo. Who am I reading for? Leo. Two of Wands reverse. Someone here may be indecisive. That could be with the... Um, yeah, so, someone may also be made... Somebody may have made a wrong choice. Or they're fearing that they'll make the wrong choice or they're worried. So they're causing stagnation or refusing to make a choice because they don't want to make the wrong choice. Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here in the outcome? Two cards. <laughs> wow, look at that. The Strength card and the High Priestess. Literally Leo and Pisces energy. <laughs> Somebody could be holding on to some type of secrets or holding on to some type of hidden wisdom or knowledge or someone may be trying to find the courage and the strength to, uh, hmm. I don't know. This is a lot of holding back and not speaking possibly, but uh, let's just see. Let's do single cards. Why is the two of wands here? Five of pentacles. So someone here may be making a choice to leave a situation out in the cold. There could be some type of financial problems or struggles here. Health problems, maybe due to the stress as well. Or some, yeah, someone's making a choice, though, to leave a situation out in the cold. But I also feel like somebody's been like... Show me the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Hmm. Why is the Nine of Swords here in the outcome? Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, something may be surrounding a large lump sum of money or family or someone's worried about money. Someone's worried about money or family or marriage or legacy. The Magician, someone's worried. What is the Magician? Virgo Gemini energy. What is... Give me one more on this Nine of Swords. The Strength card, Leo. Virgo Gemini. Someone may be worried as to whether or not they have the strength, the, the the willpower, or like if they have what it takes to manifest what it is that they want. Okay. Show me the Queen of Pentacles. So somebody here is, yeah, worried. Someone may be like, yeah, worried if they have the strength and the courage to you know, manifest what it is. But the, with the magician, it's like you have all the tools that you need to create the outcome that you desire. But somebody's like fearing, holding back, or trying to find the courage and the strength. There could be a little bit of self-doubt here. So, yeah, self-doubt. Show me the Queen of Pentacles. Show me the Queen of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. It's 
So somebody may be holding back or holding on to a Taurus Virgo Capricorn for some. Some or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be holding on to you or Leo. I don't know. Either way, somebody here may be holding back, trying to get their finances together, or they may be kind of stingy or greedy with how they give and receive time, energy, and emotions. There's definitely like a lot of holding back type of energy. This is like somebody who's like, or whatever the situation is, it's like somebody wants to do something, but they're unsure. It's like somebody here who's self-doubt. It's like they keep going back and forth in their head or something. Show me the four, or show me, give me one more on the Queen of Pentacles. It's like somebody who, um, King of Wands reverse. Yeah, someone's like lacking confidence. Someone could be a little narcissistic too. Let me just say that. Queen of Cups in the reverse, emotionally manipulative. There's a whole lot of like, I don't know, court cards in this reading. So there may be like a lot of other people or energies involved in this reading. Someone may be like overly sexual, over, you know, emotionally manipulative. Somebody may just be heavily in their emotions, all right, feeling overly emotional, lacking confidence to take action, maybe because of finances, maybe they only have the four, four of pentacles, five of pentacles, or you do, or something. I don't feel like it's you. I don't even feel like it's them. Well, maybe. Maybe this person has a lot of, if Ten of Wands can talk about like a lot of burdens, like a lot of different things that's weighing you down. So a lot of responsibilities. Maybe this person has a lot of responsibilities and they're trying to release some of them. All right. Hmm. I think I'm going to use this deck. So Pisces, I feel like you want the Two of Cups. That's your intentions. You want a relationship. When a King of Cups in the upright, I want to clarify those two. Show me one on this King of Cups and Pisces next move energy. The Six of Wands and the Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you guys have done your healing work. You guys may be someone of status or someone who's very successful. Some of you guys could be recognized for your work or some of you guys may do healing work and you're recognized for that. Sorry for my alarm going off. It just fucking randomly does that. Uh, show me the King of Pentacles and Pisces emotions. And I feel like you guys are very focused on your success, your healing, using your intuition, the Six of Swords, moving on, moving forward towards calmer waters. Some of you guys may be you know, relocating. Show me the Knight of Wands and Pisces overall energy, please. Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, some of you guys are sitting on the Wheel of Fortune. You guys are ready for change. Like, you guys are ready for change, for a positive change here. Ooh, three swords on the bottom and the devil in the tower? Oh, hell no. And the two of swords. Someone may be trying to avoid a tower or avoid some type of heartbreak or control. Someone may be trying to control a situation. I don't know. I'm not going to go there, but um, maybe I should throw a clarifier on Leo just to be clear. Anyways, I feel like you're ready for a positive change. I feel like you're very grounded. You're emotionally mature. You're stable. Your end goal is the Two of Cups. You want a relationship, a loving connection. We're two people who can see eye to eye. Whoever you're dealing with over here, let's show me. Why is release here? What is Leo trying to release? Page of Pentacles. Could be trying to release a younger Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, high Priestess, High... Oh. For some of you guys, there could be... I don't know. I don't even want to take it there, but... The High Priestess can be secrets. The Page of Pentacles could be a child, or... They may be secretly wanting to message you. Pisces. Release. Letting you know. Yeah, they may secretly be wanting to message you. Can we start over? There's so much I want to tell you. Release. So this person may want to tell you what's going on. Show me the Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Cups reversed. Um, this person could be very unhappy at this time or overly emotional. Five of Wands. Yeah, see, they got some type of conflict or drama going on. And I feel like it's causing a lot of unhappiness. Show me the Chariot. The Eight of Cups. Came out in the reverse. You know, either this is someone who walked away from you and they want to come back, or 
yeah, and move things forward or travel to come see you or something like that. Or, um, or this person's trying to walk away and go back towards another situation. Give me one more on this chariot. The devil. Wait, someone's trying to walk away from the devil? Or from some type of like, uh, something that's restricting and binding? Capricorn energy. Show me the Ten of Wands. What's so burdensome down here? The Justice card. There could be some type of legalities going on. Maybe surrounding a vehicle or travel or a Cancer or a Libra. And this person is extremely burdened by it. But I do feel like they want to message you, reach out, tell you something. Um, uh, all right, so let's go. Three cards. You guys got a long reading. Oh, hammer. Hammer. It's hammer time. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. And then we have not today. Not dealing, hurt, uh, avoiding a conversation, call or person, boundaries, and still angry. So some of you guys may be ignoring someone, like I said earlier. Girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being used charmed enable boundaries sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception and focusing out so i don't know if you got someone here who's watching you keeping an eye on you you know the king of wands reversed i'm only saying this because that nart the girl with the snake came out this King of Wands in the reverse, Queen of Cups in the reverse, that's like narc energy. That's someone who's emotionally manipulative. They're promiscuous. They may use sex as a weapon. They may play on someone's emotions. Four of Pentacles, it's like you're very greedy with time and energy and emotions and how you give. So it's like you don't really give anything of substance or monetary, you know, to a situation. But they may expect your loyalty. You could even be worried about this person's loyalty because, you know, they hold back a lot from you. They don't really give anything for pentacles. King of Wands reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed. It's like they don't give to you, give to this emotionally, you know, they don't, could be very passionate or lustful. You may feel emotionally manipulated by this person. You feel like they don't take action. They don't open up. They're not vulnerable. Okay, so I'm going to leave this reading here if it helped give you clarity and guidance. And anyway, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. Peace.